Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo, as well as learn about the features and other 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now celebrating its 10th year of production, the Porsche Panamera Turbo has grown into one of the best full-size luxury sedans on the U.S. market. Unlike its competitor, the Mercedes-AMG S63 sedan, which offers a more relaxed, although blisteringly fast driving experience, the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo is a full-on driver's car that handles like a car half its weight. With 550 horsepower on offer and an all-wheel drive system to put the power down, the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo feels like a warp speed missile at full tilt. What makes this even better is the ultra-luxurious interior that doesn't pretend to even try to save weight. With a trunk space that's much bigger than its rivals, the Panamera is also one of the most practical cars in this segment. It's fast, comfortable, practical, and may well go down as one of the best performance sedans in history. The 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo is offered in three body styles. The regular Panamera has a long, tapered rear cargo hatch, while the Sport Turismo comes with a more upright rear hatch like a station wagon. The Executive sticks with the standard Panamera hatch, but grows in length between the front and rear axles, commonly referred to as the long wheelbase, to provide more space to rear passengers. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo. But real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. Obviously, the Porsche Panamera Turbo competes with other cars. I mentioned one of them. I mentioned the Mercedes S63. I did a build and price of the Mercedes S63. In this instance, it's the 2018. I'm actually getting ready to do the tw uh, the brand new one. I think, th I think they have the 2021 out. So if you want to see me do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, Time. Maybe you might be in the market for a couple, a few year old, a couple year old uh, Mercedes. So check out that S63 video. I also did the uh, 2018 Panamera Turbo. I did the 2019 Porsche Panamera GTS, uh, and then recently uh, I did the 2021 Audi RS7 Sportback. That's a really sweet car. Sweet car that actually makes a little bit more horsepower than the turbo. Uh, I did the 2021 BMW M5. I did the base model. I did not do the competition because uh, I already did a building price of uh, the 2020 M5 competition. Uh, and I also did the 2020 Mercedes AMG GT 63S four door coupe. Also another big powerhouse of a super sedan. So a lot of tasty building price reviews. You see them all right there. The links to all those videos are down in the description below. So after you watch this uh, Panamera Turbo video, make sure uh, you check out a few of those as well. Okay, so let's go over those trim levels again. Uh, we only breeze through them in the intro, and I just want to dive into it just a little bit more. Now, we're going to do a build and price of the Panamera Turbo. That's the, the regular one. Uh, it has an MSRP of $153,000. It does 190 miles an hour. They all have 550 horsepower. Seems like the Panamera uh, Turbo Sport Turismo, maybe it's a little bit slower at 188. Maybe and that's maybe that's because of the arrow, right? That The roof line maybe has a little more drag. I don't know. So you got the base Panamera Turbo or the regular one, right? Because they're all the same. 153,000. Uh, the Sport Turismo, 157,000. And then the Panamera Turbo Executive, which is really just the long wheelbase, uh, it's 163,004. All right. Now, like I said, we are going to build in price uh, a regular Panamera Turbo. But before we do, before we do, we're going to check out all the features and go through the gallery and stuff like that. Then once we do that, then we'll jump over to the Porsche configurator and do our build in price. So I thought this was funny that there was a couple of uh, links that don't work on this brand new page. It says, these pages right here says, discover the Panamera online magazine. So I go and click it, and it says that the, that the file is not found. And then I go to try to click the Sport Turismo online magazine, and also file not found. So here are all the exterior colors for the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo. There are some standard colors, metallic colors, and special colors. Uh, they don't give us the names of the colors 
on this page once we get to the configurator we'll go through all the colors so that way we actually have the names of all the exterior uh, paint colors then they also have uh, the different wheel options lots of different wheel options we should do a Panamera in blue because you know those blue wheels look really really sweet they look kind of sweet I always end up favoring some other kind of wheels we'll talk about those in the configurator but uh, yeah uh, and then you got your interior colors and materials and again we'll go through those in deeper detail obviously so we can find out their names and all that kind of stuff when we get to the uh, configuration but we're not quite ready to click this tab oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I forgot to go through the gallery so let's go through this gallery really fast and then we'll go through the features um, We'll just go through the gallery. They're obviously going to show us different configurations. There's the Sport Turismo back. Like I said, they're going to show us different configurations. They obviously like the Sport Turismo because they keep showing that one instead of the regular one. And I guess, you know, I guess the regular Panamera, they've been doing that one since 2010. So <laughs> I guess they're like, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, it's nice. The Panamera is nice. You know, the Audi RS7, though, is one mm, – that is a sweet ride, that car. Makes me – I. Panamera is my favorite car, okay? I should say that right now. But that RS7 that I just did almost, almost is making me reconsider this. Uh, the interior of this new Panamera is very sweet, very, very classic Audi uh, 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 Porsche architecture in there. Uh, but it's very nice, very, very nice. Got the Burmester high-end audio in this one. I don't know what color they call this interior, but it's nice. Yep, there's the Burmester. Uh, here's another layout here. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I think we've seen all the photos that we need to see. Let's go check out those features now. Okay. Let's talk about the features of the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo. Porsche seems to have all their features laid out in these tiles. There seems to be, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15 different tiles, and each tile uh, has a different feature. For instance, we've got down here in the bottom right-hand corner, there's interior design, to the left of that, there's exterior design. Above that, there's Idea Panamera. Above that, there's wheels, and so on and so forth. So up at the top here, there's performance features. So let's jump into it. We'll click each button and uh, go through each one, learn about the features, and then after that, we'll be ready to do our build and price. Okay, so the first feature is performance peach, uh, features. Porsche hasn't laid, laid this information out as nicely as other sites like Audi and Mercedes, where they give you these little bite-sized chunks of information that are easy to ingest. Instead, they've laid out these paragraphs that aren't very exciting. So I've kind of already looked ahead to help us speed through these paragraphs so we don't actually have to read through them. So basically what they're saying here is that they've got an all-new uh, V8 twin turbo engine. Uh, it's lighter, it's more compact uh, than the predecessor. Uh, it comes equipped with Vario Cam Plus. It's got two turbochargers that are now positioned in between the in between the cylinder banks. And everybody's doing that. BMW's doing that. Uh, Audi's doing that. Everybody's putting their turbos in the center of the valley for lots of different reasons. Uh, so the V8 engine is equipped with twin scroll turbines. Uh, there's adaptive cylinder control that activates cylinders on demand. There's a direct fuel injection uh, and all of that there. So you have greater efficiency and power delivery. All right, let's talk about the transmission. So you got the new eight-speed Porsche PDK transmission. It's the latest Panamera. Uh, it's the latest Panamera models are therefore equipped with this newly developed uh, eight-speed uh, PDK transmission. They say gears one through six have a sports ratio and top speed is reached in six gear. 7th and 8th gear have a long ratio, which helps to uh, keep engine revs low at high speeds and all that. That's about fuel economy and savings there. Okay, so we went through performance. We went through the PDK. Let's talk about the Porsche traction management real quick, or let's go over that really fast. So all Panamera models are equipped with Porsche traction management. Uh, the acronym is PTM. Uh, this is an active all-wheel drive system with an electric, with an electronic and a map control multi-plate clutch. Uh, and this multi-plate clutch regulates the distribution of drive forces between the front and rear axles. Uh, and so the driving conditions are always constantly monitored. And so the system can then respond accordingly to a variety of situations. 
and it can vary the grip and all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's talk about the chassis. Let's talk about the chassis features for the 2020 Porsche Panamera uh, Turbo. Uh, the chassis of the new uh, Panamera models uh, perform a balancing act between uh, sport and comfort effortlessly uh, through further developed optional chassis technologies. These technologies, some examples of them, include uh, adaptive air suspension with three-chamber technology, uh, new Porsche dynamic chassis control and a and rear axle steering and all these kinds of things help uh, really make this chassis be dynamic. Okay, where are we at? Uh, rear axle steering. Moving on to rear axle steering. This is available for the Panamera models for the first time. It's optional rear axle, rear axle steering. It enhances performance and everyday drivability. Uh, so what this does is during low speed maneuvers, the system steers the rear wheels in the opposite direction to that of the front wheels. Uh, during high speed maneuvers, the, uh, the system steers the rear wheels in the same direction. And so the, ba the bottom line is, is that you get greater maneuverability uh, and driving safety no matter what the situation is. Moving on, we have the Porsche Active Suspension Man Management. I think the acronym is PASM, P-A-S-M. Uh, and it's electronic damping control system, and it continuously adjusts the damping force on each wheel based on the road conditions. Uh, there's three modes, normal, sport, and sport plus. Uh, sensors record body movements, and uh, from that data, the system determines the effect of the actual driving state of the car and modifies the damping force at each wheel accordingly, and depending on what mode you're in, normal, sport, or sport plus. Another feature is the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control Sport. That's the PDCC Sport, including Porsche Torque Vectoring. And so the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control Sport is an active roll stabilization system uh, with a really sporty setup uh, that provides much faster response and it's tuned for sporty driving. Uh, no surprise there. We're talking about Porsches here. And in, co in combination with that Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control uh, sport that you you combine the torque vectoring which further enhances driving dynamics and the stability so yeah that's the bottom line the result is better traction uh, and better agility all that kind of stuff there all right let's move on let's talk about uh, the wheels the features for the wheels uh, they do say right off the bat that the tires are wider contact surface larger right you can put more power down on the ground that much better you got much more mechanical grip so just making the tires bigger helps with handling and everything else there all right uh the standard wheel is a 20 inch wheel but there are uh there are some optional 21 inch wheels up to 21 inch wheels available and we already saw there's quite a few wheel combina uh, of, of of options and i guess they range between 20 and 21 inch wheels Okay, let's talk about uh, some sport mode features. So with sport mode, you can swap from a comfort-oriented uh, tune to a sporty setup. Uh, in sport mode, the PDK transmission shifts up later and shifts down sooner. Uh, the Porsche Active Suspension Management, the PASM, and the optional uh, Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control Sport and Rear Axle Steering also switch to sport mode. Okay, looks like we've got six more tiles to go. Uh, and now we're up talking about the Sport Chrono package, including uh, mode switch. And just you can see, this is a they've got a much bigger uh, paragraph on this one. And so here, here's the basic premise: the Sport Chrono package offers an even sportier tuning of the chassis, the engine, and the transmission. Uh, the kit includes a digital and analog stopwatch, a graphic in the instrument cluster showing longitudinal and lateral acceleration, and a performance display for viewing lap times in the uh, PCM, the Porsche Communication Management. That's basically the infotainment head unit. Uh, there's four drive modes, uh, normal, sport, sport plus, and individual. And what's really new about this whole system is is the mode switch on the steering wheel with sport response button and they and that's really derived they say from the porsche 918 i guess i haven't said porsche the whole time so sometimes i just say porsche most of the time but i know it is porsche all right so anyway pressing the button 
in the center of, of uh, pressing the button in the center of the mode switch primes the engine and, tra and transmission for the fastest possible unleashing of power for about 20 seconds. Another thing is with the Sport Chrono package, uh, this is what gives you launch control. Okay, so we got through that. Uh, we've got this idea Panamera. Uh, and really, my, my big takeaway is, is you know, every manufacturer is going to tell you how great they are, how cool their car is, their engineers, and how much effort and all that, and how great, and, and all this thought process they put in it. That's what they're basically telling us here. Here, Porsche is basically tooting their own horn and telling us how great the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo is, and it is nice. And how their engineers have demonstrated courage with the Panamera concept and and how this car has the Porsche DNA and the new Porsche Inno Drive and other innovative assistance systems making driving more efficient and more relaxing. And then they basically go on to say the same thing in the idea of the Panamera Sport. They can't really say much more. I mean, they're basically saying the new sport models pre precisely encapsulate the Panamera principle. And that Panamera principle uh, is performance and comfort are not contradictory notions, but a single entity. So, yeah, so they're basically saying the same thing with the sport. The sport, as we know, has a different little hatch. It's more station wagon like. So, yeah, that was Idea Panamera. And then we did Idea Panamera Sport Turismo. Down here at the executive models, now you remember the executive model is kind of like a regular Panamera. It's just got a longer wheelbase. And they do actually have, it's 15 centimeters longer, actually. And so, the you know, the whole thing is, is the executive models uh, combine sporty driving with a comfortable work zone in the rear. All right. That's 15 extra centimeters of added body length, which benefits the rear passengers. Uh, the standard spec on the executive models uh, include adaptive air suspension, panoramic roof, side airbags, rear compartment, side airbags in the rear compartment, and a rear roll-up sun blind. There's power seats in the rear compartment with seat heating and comfort headrests. <clears throat> and the Panamera 4S executive and turbo executive models are additionally equipped with rear axle steering, the parking assist, and a reversing camera and soft closed door. So the executive models, they really kind of, they really, uh, they fill them up with some stuff because obviously you must be some executive cruising around the back and you want luxury. Okay, let's talk about the exterior design features of the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo. Well, it's all about the Panamera, it's whether turbo or otherwise. Uh, they say the silhouette and the proportions of the new Panamera models are more Porsche than ever. Uh, the wheelbase is 1.2 inches longer than that of the predecessor. Uh, it's got a short overhang up front, but it's got a lo longer overhang in the rear. If we actually scroll down, can we see that? Can we see that anywhere? I guess this is a decent photo for that. Is this a decent photo for that? Short overhang in the front and a longer overhang in the rear. And they say it looks more Porsche than ever. There's LED headlights with four spot, and we can see them, daytime running lights, uh, including Porsche Dynamic Light System on the Panamera Turbo. So that must be something that's a little exclusive and maybe more of a dead giveaway. Uh, and what else is there? Oh, they say characteristic features of all Panamera, Panamera models, the light strip on the rear end, and the slimline three-dimensional LED tail lights with four spot brake uh, four spot brake lights and then of course you can't miss the wing the extending rear spoiler integrated into the body reduces lift at the rear axle at high speeds you know I, I've really always loved between the 10, 2010 and 2012 Porsche Panameras all of them and I wasn't really a fan when these new ones came out right in 2017 when they really uh, re re they redesigned them majorly and they started looking more like this but the more and more I look at the Panamera now, uh, this new body style is certainly growing on me. However, that Audi RS7 is just... Mm. All right, moving on. The last, <clears throat> the last slide really was about interior features. Remember, if we close this up and kind of go up to here, the last, the last one was interior design, if you recall. So let's talk about the interior design of the 2020 Porsche Panamera. Uh, the interior has been completely restyled, and so it, it looks really good, doesn't it? 
So yeah, the interior has been completely restyled. Uh, there's a new control concept called Porsche Advanced Cockpit. Uh, the center console with direct touch control has a glass-like surface with touch-sensitive buttons for direct access to the most important functions. Uh, there's a high-resolution 12-inch <clears throat> touchscreen display that's integrated into the dashboard. And there's two uh, high-resolution screens, one to the right and one to the left of the tachometer. Uh, that displays virtual, virtual instruments, maps, and a range of other uh, information. This photo here, we can get a better look at the instrument cluster here. So you got the tachometer here in the center, and then to the left and right of that should be uh, two high-resolution screens. And yeah, the interior is very nice. Like I said, I, I'm really about that Gen 1. And there was two, ge there was two generations of that gen first generation Panamera, right? From 2010 to 2012, and then they had a light refresh. I'm sorry, 2010 to 2013, then they had a light refresh from, and then 2014, 2016, they called them uh, Panamera One, Panamera One, and Panamera Twos. And so I really like the Panamera Ones, uh, and I like the interior. They were the same no matter what those years, 2010 through 20, uh, what 15 or 16. But uh, this new interior, like I said, all this is really, really, really growing on me, and uh, it does look wonderful. All right, so there it is. We actually went through all 15 tiles and learned about all the features of the 2020 Porsche Panamera. Some of those features specific to the turbo and other ones just specific, just talking about Panamera models in general. So uh, we've done everything. Uh, now what we need to do is our actual build and price, so let's get over to the Porsche uh, configurator. Okay, here we are, the moment we've all been waiting for. We're on the Porsche car configurator. We're going to configure a uh, 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go over the exterior colors. We can go through, see what angle we might want. I probably, well, they got three for the exterior. I probably want this side angle here so we can see the whole vehicle. Uh, so here, the standard colors, they've got this metallic white, or they've got white, and they have black. And these two colors, wow, the configurator is actually quite slow. All right, so they got white and they have black, and those two colors are no-cost options. You've got a color here that's called Carrera White, and Carrera White is a no-cost option. They've got the Jet Black here, and Jet Black is a no-cost option. You've got the Volcano Gray as a no-cost option. Here's your Dolomite Silver. Here's the Genetian Blue Metallic. We've got a color here called uh, Mahogany. I don't think you're going to see many of these, but this color here is called Mamba Green. I don't think you're going to see many of them in Mamba Green. I, I really don't. And then they also have Night Blue. Now, all these colors we just went over, the standard colors, the metallic colors, those are all no-cost options. These special colors, they all look to be $3,310. So let's check them. So this color here is called a Papaya Metallic. You've got the Carmine Red, and then they have a shade that's called Amethyst Metallic, which kind of definitely certainly looks like it has some purple in there. Then you've got the GT Silver Metallic, and then your last color is Chalk. If it pop, there it is. And your last color is Chalk. So here's the deal. I'm not crazy about any of the colors. And I'm certainly not crazy enough about any of these special colors to spend any uh, to spend any uh, three thousand thirty three hundred dollars on them. I think I'll go with the standard color black. And the reason why I say standard black over the metallic is I don't want the metallic flake. I really don't want the metallic flake in the paint. I'd rather have that 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 just pure black paint. And so that's what that standard black paint color is up here at the top. And so that's what we're going to go with. Okay, let's take a look at the wheels uh, for the 2020 uh, Porsche Panamera Turbo. We're actually going to take a look at it for the second time because uh, I didn't have the record button pressed while I was talking. So here we go for the second time. You just don't know it. Uh, it's the first time for you, second time for me. All right, so 20-inch Panamera Turbo wheels. These are the standard ones. Uh, we went through all these wheel selections. The bottom line is these blue wheels represent uh, body color. These are the 21-inch exclusive design wheels in exterior color. You can't get that in every color. We selected flat black, right? 
for instance. And so if we go to select this wheel, it's not going to let us uh, do that, and uh, here's why. For us to do that 21-inch exclusive design wheel in an exterior color, it's going it limits what exterior colors we can do. All right. Uh, for some reason, the black does not work. But like I said, I do I did like the I do like the carmine red. I do like the carmine red. So we could spend the extra dollars and go ahead and bump on up to the carmine red. And so yeah, I guess I guess we're going to do that. Let's hope that this looks a little bit better in person. It was a seven. Yeah, I think it looks kind of cool, actually. It's definitely going to be unique. All right, so this was Carmine Red. Uh, this was a seventy-three hundred dollar upgrade to go with those wheels, uh, and so we're going to go with those wheels. Twenty-one inch exclusive design wheels in exterior color, which happens to be Carmine Red. We're sitting at one hundred sixty-one thousand nine seventy nine hundred seventy dollars currently. Do we need any wheel accessories? Uh, we can go all season tires, summer tires. I think that we should go with all season tires. I'm just kind of feeling that all season tires. Uh, the wheel center caps with colored Porsche crest. It looks like they have colored Porsche crests in them right now. Am I right or am I wrong? That looks kind of colored. Uh, but let's click this for more information. See what it tells us. Okay, I don't know if the wheel exactly looks like that, so I do want the uh, want the uh, colored Porsche crest. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, or maybe not, maybe not, because they want us to remove our wheels. We just went through all that excruciating pain for, and some of you might be thinking, you know what? Maybe we should get rid of those wheels. Maybe we should get rid of those wheels. And maybe we should get rid of those wheels. What do you think? Uh, we got the 21-inch 911 Turbo Design Wheels or the 21-inch Sport Design Wheels. I'm not really crazy about those, though. That's the whole thing. Uh, so uh, I'm going to say cancel that selection. And we just won't have the center caps with the colored Porsche crest. I guess maybe because they're already telling us that it does have it. Because it sure does look like it. It sure does look like it. And I guess that's why. I guess that's why. Uh, maybe you already knew that. All right, so that was wheel accessories. We're done with that. Now we can go to interior colors and seats. <clears throat> and let's start with the interior colors and materials. And let's also start by flipping to an interior shot of the vehicle. Uh, is this a better one here? Yeah, that one's kind of nice. What's this one look like? That one just shows the driver's side, really. You know what that one does show really good, though? It shows that digital instrument cluster. See the, see that You can see the map over to the right-hand side of the tachometer. That's pretty cool, actually. All right. Uh, anyway, so here they're showing leather seats. So you got the black leather seats. You've got the seats in, uh, uh, what is this called? Agate gray? No. And then you've got it in the uh, Marsala, which looks like some kind of very light burgundy. or a br I'm not really sure what color that is. Uh, here's the brown, though. Let's take a look at that, the saddle brown. There's the saddle brown, and then we have the leather interior in the black with the red Bordeaux. Should come up here in a second. There it is. I actually like this interior, and you know, I like this interior, and the more I've been thinking about this in the background, I'm not sure I'm crazy about the exterior color or those wheels. So you know what? You know what? What we're going to do real quick is jump back over to this front photo and I, I I think I still want to do this vehicle in black I know that's going to get rid of those wheels so let's let's start that process so it's given us several options of what wheels we want to do and I can't remember what each wheel looks like off the bat I guess they'd show us here yeah they do they show us right here with the 21 inch Porsche uh, the 911 turbo design wheel looks like and that's the standard wheel because that was the default wheel it was going to give us, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and just accept those changes and start with that wheel. And then we'll go look at the wheels again really fast. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I think that I think we might be there. I think we might be there uh, because those wheels look good, right? What wheels do we have on here? Let's double check our wheel situation again here. 
Uh, where's our wheels? There we go. We've got the ah, that was the 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 twenty inch Panamera turbo wheel was the standard wheel they threw on there. The twenty one inch nine eleven turbo design wheel, thirty six hundred forty dollars. That wheel looks right, and you know what? I often go with this wheel. I think I've done other Porsche builds where I end up going with this wheel. So I guess this is my go-to wheel, and I guess it is again. Nice wheel, nice color combination, and then with the red seats right there, that just looks right to me. That just looks right to me. So I don't think we need to go over. I don't think we need to go any further. I'm happy with the leather interior. Let's go take a look at it one more time. And it's the leather interior in black and Bordeaux red. It's a plus $530 option i think the red seats are great i know i don't want other things like marsala and cream i don't want white which is the chalk they've got browns i don't want shades of brown or tans or beiges i'm not into that if you watch my channel it's very rare that i choose those interior colors very 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 rare and so yeah we're gonna go with the, the red leather seats all right let's move on Actually, let's go back to this wheel thing. <laughs> let's go back to this wheel thing one more time. I, I'm, I'm real big on the wheels. We, get, we need to get the wheel thing right. I just want to take a look at a couple of wheels. I want to take a look at this 21-inch sport design wheel painted in satin platinum. Let's take a look at this wheel. Okay, there's that wheel. And I think I can maybe sign off on this wheel. Uh, it's kind of cool, but no. Let's take a look at this 21-inch uh, sport design wheel though uh not for the turbo uh they're okay but not for the turbo uh i think we'll stick with our i think we'll stick with our 21 inch 911 turbo design wheel okay yeah i think we'll just stick with that now now we can move on so we did the uh seats or i'm sorry we did the interior colors and materials now we got to do the seats. Do we want the comfort seats? No. No, we don't. We want the Sport Plus seat that gives us the wings right on the edges here. I love them. Uh, they're a $1,500 option. They come with 18-way uh, adjustability and a memory package. And those are very nice seats. What's this shot look like here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can't see the seats from there. All right, let's move on. So those were the seats. Uh, what about seat centers and stitching? Do we need devi deviated stitching interior package, uh, deviated leather seat centers? No, definitely not. I like it all red. Deviated stitching interior package and deviated leather seat centers? Oh, they do a whole package for 7300 No, I don't think we need any kind of deviated stitching. If we did, what color would it be? I just wonder, what color would it be? Wow, look at that. Silhouette seats. Look at that. That looks crazy. Uh, so your deviated stitching color selection. Uh, yeah, so we could throw, well, speed yellow. They've got the Bordeaux red. We don't need that. We could do black. We could do our accent stitching in black. That would be kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if I'd want to do it exactly. I'd really need to see what that looked like. I'd need to see a finished version of that first before I signed off on that. So for today, we're going to say no. Uh, let's move on to options, though. And so for options, we've got well, quite a few. You know, this is Porsche after all. Uh, so we got packages, exterior, performance. I want to jump right to performance. What are they talking about here? So they got the 8-speed transmission. Yeah, I got that. They got the Porsche dynamic chassis control and the torque vectoring. We talked about that. That's a $5,000 upgrade. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about all that. They got sport tailpipes in different colors. They got the rear axle steering. They got a sport exhaust system. I might be interested in the sport exhaust system. And you can get that with either black or silver tailpipes. You can get the Porsche. You can get the carbon ceramic brakes in there. Power steering plus. I think the only thing I'm really interested in. Let's go to the exterior photo while we're talking about uh, performance stuff. I think the only thing I'm really interested in would be the sport exhaust system with the tailpipes uh in silver i think i still like a little bit of, i still like exhaust tips to be silver let's put it that way 
So here's what our sport exhaust system is going to look like. It says modified silencers, distinctive twin dual tube tailpipes, and high gloss silver. I've also uh, went ahead and grabbed uh, the sport chrono package for $2,550. I wasn't sure that I wanted to do it, but we're going to go ahead and pop for that Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control Sport with Porsche Torque Vectoring. You know, they they can't fit it afterwards, and if you want this, this vehicle to just really have some incredible dynamics and some incredible uh, suspension and handling, I think we just need to go with this. So we're going to go ahead and grab this bad boy. Okay, so we went through performance options. Do note that we're not going to go through every options. We're not going to go all through all the options. Why? I can tell you why. I can tell you that I don't want any interior wood. I'd rather have interior carbon fiber, for instance. So for options, let's take a look at the interior carbon fiber and see what selections they have there. There's quite a few. Let's let's get ourselves to uh, an interior shot. You know, they show it like the burl wood type interior, and that is nice. That is nice. However, I would like the interior trim and carbon fiber. It's a $1,000 option. Uh, let's go ahead and click this information button, see what it shows us. It's a horrible photos for the carbon fiber. I'm really sorry to see that. Uh, I do. We are going to get it, though. I know that it is. I've seen carbon fiber in the Porsche models, and it does look good. And so I don't think that picture necessarily does it any justice. Let's see when it updates here. If it looks a little better, and I think it does. I think it does. We can see that. Yeah. We can, can we see that? No, we can't see any. Car uh, we can see a carbon on the door. On the door. Yeah, I think the carbon. I like to go with the carbon. I like that. Some other items I decided to get in uh, in carbon fiber are the door sill guards in carbon fiber and also illuminated. So they're going to get the Porsche. I was going to say Panamera Turbo illuminated in carbon fiber. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get the owner's manual wallet, you know, the holder that holds all the booklets in carbon fiber. It's a $1,000 option. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to have a little fun with it, and so we're going to get that. Okay, so that was all our uh, interior uh, carbon fiber. I think we're good there because other interior stuff is what they talk about. Four zone climate control. Oh, ambient lighting. Yeah, I guess we need to take a look at some of these here. Okay, let's go over the interior options that I chose for our 2020 Panamera Turbo. We got the uh, Ambient Lighting Plus Package. I think that was a worthy one to get for $860. We got the Exclusive Design Gear Selector. It was a little extra, but yeah, $990, so we have the Fancy Pants uh, Gear Selector. Uh, we popped for the seat ventilation for the front. I was going to do the seat uh, ventilation front and rear, but to do the ventilation in the rear, you also had to add power seats to the rear, and I just didn't want to do that. It wasn't that serious, so we didn't. So we just have seat ventilation in the front. You got to have a heated steering wheel. Uh, I have come to love a heated steering wheel. So, yeah, heated steering wheels there. Uh, I pop for all the power sunshades and blinds and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, why not? For the times that I might have somebody in the back, I just I just like the feature just in general because you can always keep it retracted. It's just cool. Then, as you can see in this photo here, close up, uh, I popped for the tachometer being in Bordeaux Red as well as the Sport Chrono. So you can see that. That's why I decided to do it up close. And we can see that the the fancy pants uh, gear selector as well. There were some other things that they had that I just didn't think that we needed. You know, they got a smoking package and a cargo management system and, you know, uh, fire extinguishers and you can have your air vent slats painted. And I just didn't think that we needed all those things. And so I skipped over all that. So, like I said, here we are at options. Uh, so we went over the, we already went over the, uh, the uh, interior, we went over interior carbon fiber, we went over performance, uh, you know, I know I don't uh, want to do any additional leather or Alcantara, I, that's all fine, uh, I do want to take a look at the packages, so they have three packages, there's a sport package, a premium package, and an assistance package. 
Okay, so I decided to go with the uh, premium package. And the premium package is cool. Uh, the premium package plus because it comes with lane change assist, soft closed doors. You get the LED matrix lights. And it comes with seat ventilation, but it already knows that we already selected it. Uh, so you got the LED matrix headlights. You can get them in the, in the, with the black housing in them. And maybe we might because ours our vehicle is black and that just might look cool. So let's let's uh, do that with the uh, with the lights. Okay, cool. And if we actually expand this picture out, we can see that our LED headlights <clears throat> all have this black housing underneath them now, and that looks really, really, really cool. Ah, uh, that's funny. You know, here's the sport package. I'm, we're looking at the details of the sport package. We pop for the sport exhaust system. We have the sport chrono package. The only thing that this that the sport pack that uh, that we would have gotten additional by getting the sport package is the rear axle steering. And I know that the rear axle steering is super super cool. I'm just not really on that bandwagon yet. Oh, is there anything else? No, that's it. That's it. But we're not going to get this. We're not going to get the sport package. So the assistance package gives you night vision assist, which I do like that. And I always say nobody ever gets it. Uh, you got the lane keep assist and the Porsche Inno Drive with adaptive cruise control and traffic jam assist. You know, normally I wouldn't get this stuff. I really want that night vision assist, and I like the lane keeping assist as well. I'm not. I usually don't use cruise control, so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, this additional package here called the assistance package. Okay, for exterior options or packages. Uh, I only selected one. I selected the sport design package. That gives you the side skirts, the rear diffuser, uh, the new front, uh, updated front end. It's a sport package. It's a body kit, basically. Uh, it's a $5,600 body kit, but it's a body kit nonetheless. The rest of this stuff down here, <clears throat> I didn't want it. Uh, air intake grills painted. You could do the chrome. It, 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 the car has uh, chrome trim around the windows. And you could do it in black if you want it, but I like the chrome actually. A little bit of chrome is okay. Uh, you could do the door handles in, uh, in, in high gloss black and all those little things. You can delete uh, your, you could delete the Panamera. You can have the the those where it says Panamera and stuff. You can change the colors. And I just thought, eh, I don't need to do all that. So we only selected one exterior option, and that was the body kit, really, the sport package. All right, so what else is there? Let's take a look at uh, comfort and assistance. Okay, so comfort and assistance looks like most of your safety stuff. Uh, I see the Porsche Inno Drive, the Lane Keep Assist. These things were already checked. Night vision assist, lane change assist. I want the heads-up display. I definitely want the heads-up display. And as we can see, here's our heads-up display. It's $1,720, and we're going to get it. We're also going to get the surround view camera for $1,200. Oh, cool. We already have soft closed doors. Yeah, we do. All right. So that was comfort and assistance. Uh, lights and vision. Uh, we already have the good lights. You can do tinted LED tail lights. You can do a rear wiper. You can do thermal and noise insulated glass. I don't think we need to do any of that stuff. Uh, I'm... Audio and communication, I think that's all we really have left because we're not going to do an interior aluminum or anything like that. So audio and communication. So we get the Burmester high-end sound system. Uh, let's pop for that bad boy. And honestly, that's really about it because the rest of it is a 6 disc CD DVD changer. No. USB, USB interface in the rear? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we might want a USB back there. Like, Yeah, maybe that. Okay, so we got our USB interface for the rear. Uh, let's go ahead and close that up. Uh, then we got the tech equipment. That's the Porsche accessories. And so they've got some things like car care, car, car care and accessories, like uh, rim care, leather seat cleaner, stuff like that. We're not going to get into that. Child seats, heck no. <laughs> I don't need any of those. Uh, let's see, transport and protection. This is going to be like your car covers, your roof box bicycle racks, stuff like that. We don't need any of that. What's this interior stuff? All-weather floor mats. Uh, and then they come in different colors. So they got your all-weather floor mats in interior color. Uh, uh, footrest in the rear, all-weather floor mats, and all that stuff. So, yeah, there's your all-weather floor mats. They say in interior color, luxe or beige. I guess you just got to find the ones that are the right color for us. 
da 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 da. Uh, the reality is, is that we're not going to select those because here's the deal. All that tech equipment stuff, all those, all that accessory stuff, you can go to the dealer. You can go to the dealer and get that stuff at any time. So the floor mats and all that, we're not going to worry about that stuff. What do they have, though, however, for wheels and wheel accessories? Decorative valve stem sleeves, 20-inch Panamera turbo wheel sets for winter wheel sets, snow chains, yeah, all cool stuff, but nothing that we need to abs- do right now. And so based on that, you know what? I think we're we're about done. Here's our 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo uh, loaded out, fully loaded out. How much is this bad boy? Let's go through these images really fast. Let's go through these really fast. Oh, there's that Burmester. You can see the Burmester speakers right there in the back. Looks good. Had I done the four zone climate control, there'd be buttons and switches back here, but now it's just a big cubby. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what's our total price here? 202420 202420 to uh, put this bad boy uh, in the garage. So, yeah. On that note, you know what? I think we're done. I think we're done. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. This was a, one of my longer ones. I haven't done a video this long in a while. Uh, but anyway, if you found this review of the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe.